Okay everyone, uh, this video is going to be about the uh, Profusion electric garage heater. Um, I picked it up from Menards for about $78. Uh, figured might as well give it a try since I guess it got quite a bit of pretty good reviews. That's what it looks like right there. Um, let me see if I can find a model number. It's the 5000 watt 3 mode settings with the thermostat if I recall. Um, let's see if I, I guess there's the model number right here. One year warranty. Make sure you keep your receipt. I'll go ahead and do an unboxing and do the installation. I got everything out for now. As you can see, I got the fin so you can direct it kind of either higher or lower depending on where you are. Um, let's see what kind of parts you got. It's got the warranty, got the knobs. See, it's got the bar. Let me see if I can find the screws. Um, just to kind of show you what I bought separate, the unit itself only came with the bracket and the uh, two screws that you see right there. Um, I did have to buy a double pole 30 amp 220. Uh, this little L shaped bracket, that way I can kind of swivel it a little bit to where I want it to point. Obviously, the, the 10 gauge wire, which is recommended. So other than that, that's all you really need. Well, that's my preference anyway. So, but you can directly screw it into the roof if you'd like to, so you don't have to buy any of that. Other than that, I'll go ahead and prep everything up and uh, wire everything up. Let's have it uh, mounted now. Kind of gives you an idea. Um, the wires will be shortened, uh, so don't panic on that. I know it's long and everything, but I'd rather have long than short and have to go back to the store. But uh, we're gonna go in and swap out the. Uh, the 50 poles that I mean 50 uh, 50 amps that's in the fuse box now we're gonna swap it out with a 230 um, as you can see what I kind of did was held that like that um, those two top ones are long and the ones on the bottom are short um, it's kind of what it would look like so it gives you an idea that way I can kind of tilt it left and right to point it where I'm gonna be at um, Everything is pretty much ready. I'm going to have a conduit go to that. So, like I said, don't panic on these wires that you see. Just kind of giving you an idea on what it's supposed to look like. Um, we are almost done. All right, I got everything kind of uh, ready. Um, you're going to have two power output inputs right here. And you're going to have a ground. So, you're going to need that three-wire, ten-gauge uh, power cable. Uh, same goes in the fuse breaker. You're going to have one ground, and then two power goes to the... Uh, uh, circuit breaker uh, we're pretty much almost ready to wire them all up and give it a shot by the way shout out to uh, the real CEO that's who playing on the CD uh, check him out it's on Facebook the real CEO called freedom up I got both white and red I got the black one for the ground same goes to that black for ground the white and red for power I'm gonna go ahead and feed uh, turn on the fuse breaker from the inside of the house to give it power back test everything out Guys, I'm gonna clean those up but um, I still need to buy conduit um, to put right here but for temporary right now I'm gonna use um, for that, I'm not gonna shoot power to it when I leave it like that. But for right now, it's gonna be like that. So I already got, as you can see, I already got power to the house. This is the first time I'm turning this on. So hopefully nothing blows up. But here it goes. Power right there. Light turns on. There it is, the fan's on. So far, I only got 3,000 watts. And, uh, so far, it's pumping out quite a bit of heat. That's only at 3,000 watts. So, it looks like so far it's... Crank it up a little bit. There it is. Oh yeah, it's definitely pumping out quite a bit of heat already. It's building up. 
Like I said, it's only at 3,000 watts. Put it at four. Oh, that's a big difference. Way different. But yeah, looks like everything working so far. Like I said, I'm gonna clean that up. That's just kind of for temporary right now. But hopefully you guys enjoy and uh, at least your garage is gonna be heated up. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Um, so far, I will give it a four, four and a half star um, since it is the first time turning it on, so I can't really give it a full five already. But um, so far, everything looks to be in working condition. Oh yeah, please don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm actually back. Uh, I was wrapping it up earlier, and I know I said I was done, but... Uh, I don't know why, but I just kind of decided to add this uh, steel wire, ferrule everything, um, as you can see right there, ferrule connection. Um, this is kind of just a fail safe, just in case something goes wrong. I mean, I know there's nothing going to go wrong. Everything is pretty much tight, secured, everything in general. Um, but um, sometimes I just get overly cautious, so I just added that wire for peace of mind. Uh, if you guys want to do it, that's cool. If not, it ain't going to change nothing. It'll be the same way. Um, but yeah, this is literally the uh, the done video. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh yeah, it's pumping out quite a bit of heat now. So, so far it's working great.